Jesus, lads. Where, oh, where the hell are we going now? Up the rock in, in Gorey, County Wexford, and we're following this trapper. This trapper, Mick Redmond, knows this area very well. And he actually stumbled across this ancient house. Now he's just slowly bringing me up here with his wolf. There it is. The light might be great in here. All right, Mick, what's the story with this house? Okay. I want to just scan it. Look, that's very old. All right, Mick, what's the story with this house here? Everyone knows the story of, of Hansel and Gretel and where she kept, went out to the woods and saw us and uh, met this, so seen this house. Yeah. Well, that house has got nothing at all to do with that story, <laughs> whatsoever. Um, the strange thing is, there's a lesson to be learned here. Yeah. Uh, I'm 58 years of age. No, no, 48. What? I'm 58. No, 48. Uh, me, I'm the same, uh, yeah, same age. I'm the same age as him, I'm 48. Yeah, 48. Yeah. And um, I remember this house. <sighs> I remember this house when I was seven or eight years of age. How was that? In, in, in pristine condition. I okay. remember a woman used to live here and the gardens were manicured. She used to have her own gardener. And now look at it. How, how in that short space of time, nature reclaims what is its own. Amazing. Um, Speak a bit louder, Mick. Just... It's also called the law of peak and decline. It happens to houses, it happens to individuals. It even happens to great empires. Nothing stays the same. You might think you're powerful, you might think you own something, you don't. Eventually you go right back like this, nature takes over again. Um, well, those, those trees look like they've been growing a long time up there. Those trees are laurel trees. And um, for some... Who is she? Laurel. No, I don't know who laurel is. Aye. But the, remember, what is the laurel? What is the, what is the laurel a symbol of? In ancient Greece, in the Olympics, the winners were always given a laurel wreath around their head. I'm not quite sure what a laurel signifies mm. and why people should grow them around their houses. Mm. But uh, mm. I don't know how this woman ever saw out through the windows with them trees growing mm. up outside her windows. Mm. Mm. But mm. she done, she done it. Mm. Um, no, mm. it's, it's quite mm. atmospheric. Why you, it's, it's very atmospheric mm. in here. And rumour has it, legend has it, that she hid all her money and her gold and her jewellery somewhere in the walls of the house. Now, hmm, hmm. I've searched and I've searched and um, I haven't found it, but Mora reckons that he is a bit of a diviner and he reckons he can he'd smell money. He can smell money. You know. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Why, come here? Why is it so dark in here? It's, it, the sun is blasting out of the sky. It's over. It's pitch black. It's over. I love it in here. I've often sat in here for maybe 10 minutes some days. It's peaceful. And in the, in the, in the hot summer, it's cold in here. And in the winter it's warm in here. I love it, I love it. It's my little oasis in the desert. Okay, when yeah. I want to get away, when I come home from Gorey after been sitting in Joanne's at the book cafe, listen to a load of fucking idiots, I come home out here and I clear my head. I just get away from it all. I just get away. I don't want to hear any more bad news. I have sickness, death, hospitals. That's all they talk about in Joanne's like. Is this where you get all your ideas? De yeah, this is where I get my ideas. Okay. They have a place in Death Row. And if I was you, go back to Joanne's though. They have a place in Joanne's called Death Row. Well, yeah. That's all they ever talk about. Death, mm. funerals. Mm. And he's one of the worst of them. Him and Nelly. Nelly. Him and Nelly. God rest Nelly. She's not too well. Not too well, not but too well, God, but... she'll pull out of it. Yeah. She'll pull out of it. Um, all jokes aside. But like I say, this is. I like it. It's unkept. It's un make, my arm is so, only so long. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, nice. I like the unkeptness about this. It's not mass, oh, certainly not manicured. And yeah. uh, it's just so tranquil, peaceful. I often sat here and talked to a little bird. Now, don't tell the wife that now. I often sat here and talked oh. to a little bird. She'd be sitting on my knee here. And it's lovely, absolutely lovely. There's laws against that. Um, really mm -hmm. is now. Okay, it's a bit dark in here for the little uh, camera phone. But, um, my work, my work, my work. Okay, I just, I just go over here. I can't. It won't pick your voice up too well over here, Mick. Okay. All right. A little bit of feeling of like loft is hall in here. Maybe not. It's too small. See the way the sun is just coming through the trees. I can go down this way. For some reason, it's uh. How long? How long goes this um? Gone derelict? Gone downhill in the past 50 years. 50 years? Gone downhill about 50 years ago. Uh, it was just left, it 
it's just let fall down. It's never, yeah. it could have been made, that's the, that is the sad part. It could have been maintained and kept in reasonable condition. There was nothing done at it. Well, I honestly think there's still a bit of life left in it. Still life left. Oh, oh, Jesus! What? Yeah, look. It would take a little bit of fixing up. <laughs> I'd have this place ship shape now in a couple of days. Right, dates. Good girl. Alright. Come on, lads. Let's go. Get a bit of tucker.